have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Fenton from Zentech. How are you today, Greg? I am fantastic, Tracy. How are you? Great to see you and allow me to be the first, be one of many, of course, to congratulate you on your approval for NASDAQ listing. I know you've been working on that for some time. Can you give us an update? Sure. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, we, uh, we announced the successful acceptance of our application to be listed on NASDAQ. Uh, we announced that last Monday. Uh, that uh, was a process that took a little bit longer than we had hoped, but with, uh, with the state of the world, COVID, et cetera, uh, you know, things just move a little bit uh, slower than, uh, than we would all like. But the great news is, is we've been approved and we will be launching on NASDAQ very shortly. Well, congratulations for that. And speaking of congratulations, your patent process for Zengard has been, has been moving forward quite uh, rapidly. Do you want to give us an update? Sure. Yeah, I'd love to uh, talk about that, Tracy. So yeah, we announced that our, our patent will be published a week Monday. So on March 21st, that's when the world gets to see uh, this, this wonderful invention that we've created, that our scientists created for us. So this is a really significant milestone for the company. Um, as we can fast forward, uh, uh, rewind back to March of 2020 when the pandemic hit and uh, all of our research capabilities basically got shut down except for in our own lab. And Dr. Dubay, our executive chairman and myself sat down and uh, had to really figure out where we wanted to go with the company given the new state of the world and the pandemic. And we, uh, we made a decision to see if we could use the wonderful characteristics of graphene to create something that might be able to fight in the, uh, 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 against the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic. So we started working on a, an antimicrobial agent based on information that was already in the public domain. We wanted to see if we could create the results of that. Uh, we worked through April, May, uh, June of, uh, of 2020. And unfortunately, when we got our first results back, they were very poor. We actually only had about 25 to 50% effectiveness against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So our wonderful head of research, Dr. Colin Vanderker, he's a, he has a, one of the, few, I think he was the first graduate with a chemical physics degree from the University of Guelph, sat down with uh, one of our lead scientists, Dr. Arash Haddadi, and utilized some of the work Arash had been utilizing in developing anti-corrosive coatings. They came together, came up with a brand new formulation in July of 2020, and lo and behold, we landed on our Zengard, uh, our Zengard coating, which was proven to be 99.9% .9 effective against SARS-CoV-2, other bacteria and fungi. And now we're getting to the point where we actually get to show that to the world. So it's a very, very exciting time for the company. And of course, there's a lot of competitors out there. So there has, you have been the recipient of a lot of misinformation. Would you like to talk to that? Sure. Uh, look, 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 Tracy, when we went through this process, we made sure that, you know, everything that we had was new and innovative and that we owned it. And we went through the appropriate process to make sure that this was vetted by uh, our, our own council. Um, and, and even in the, the results that we got with the compound, it's orders of magnitude better than anything else that's, ever, that's been in the public domain. So of course, there's going to be groups out there that will want to take shots at us. Typically, when you're, when you're on the top of the heap, you're always a target for somebody. Uh, but I think that just speaks to the overall success that we've had and that we've got something that's unique and innovative. Well, Greg, I, I'd like to put my two cents in here just because I remember when graphene first uh, was marketed to the public markets 10 years ago. Nobody knew what it was. There was a lot of misinformation put out there and we were constantly re-educating. There were new companies who were purportedly graphene, but they didn't even know what graphene was. So, you know, clearly this is a problem that you've had to, uh, you know, deal with as you've moved forward. Now you've had a steady news flow. So can we just touch on some of this uh, latest news since announcing uh, listing onto NASDAQ? Sure. Um, you, you know, what, what, one, of the, uh, one of the big things for us is just really opening up our company to a, a wider potential investor base, getting out, being able to tell the story into the U.S. market. That's obviously significant for us. We've seen a lot of interest in our company out of the U.S. 
Uh, and, and a lot of the investors have, have indicated that once we got listed in on the NASDAQ exchange, that they'd be interested in coming in uh, and investing in our story. So that's obviously very, very exciting for us. But we continue to move forward on so many paths. Um, we have a number of projects that will be bringing updates to the market in the coming days and weeks. Um, I think investors will be very, very happy with where the company is and where it's going. And uh, we really look forward to uh, starting that news flow in the, in the coming days. So, Greg, I, I have one question for you. Just announced uh, engaging Vimta Labs for clinical research. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, Vimta Labs and what you're doing with them? Vimta Labs will be doing preclinical work for us on the, the safety profile of, of our compound. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be testing it against lab animals. They'll be doing absorption studies. We've had some very, very significant anecdotal result, uh, results against numerous skin conditions that have all been very, very positive. Um, so based on that, we've decided to go to the next step of preclinical work. Vimta Labs will be doing that work for us. They are an FDA approved facility and they should have that work completed for us by the fourth quarter of this year. And if we get the results we're anticipating, then we'll be moving to phase one human trials. So very, very exciting time for us in that space as well. Well, Greg, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we look forward to your NASDAQ listing. Thank you, Tracy.